Hi, how's it going? Uh, Robbie here with um, one of the steps of the challenge, and that is the basic online business plan. Now, further down the page, you will find a link to download this document here. I suggest you um, pause the video, go and print it off, and then start thinking about filling out your online business plan. I am actually working on two. One for my SFM business and one that they don't often cover with SFM but it's um, because with the SFM they focus mainly on promoting SFM. But what I want to do is to actually say, what are you passionate about? And start thinking about how you can work with that thing you're passionate about and start building an income stream from that. Um, the first step is creating a business plan or coming up with what you're passionate about. For me, um, I like cycling and mountain biking and, you know, most weekends I get out on my mountain bike once or twice, probably twice, yeah, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday I get out and go for a ride. So what I've been thinking about is creating a website and mapping and making available to the general public what um, the tracks that are out there. You know, you can find them somewhere, but what I want to do is get them in one site, start promoting them, and start building by getting out and doing different tracks. I can actually do different pages about each of the tracks. I haven't actually decided how I'm going to um, monetize that yet, but what I figure is if I start by building the website, start blogging, start providing valuable information further down the, uh, and I'll start building a following then I can look at a bit further on um, ways I can monetize it they haven't come to me yet but I'm putting it out there maybe you've got an idea on how I can monetize um, information on cycling but at this stage we'll, um, that's what I'm working on so going through the business plan name of the business for my cycling one cycling for fun mission my, my mission statement to encourage people to get out and enjoy the benefits of mountain biking so your mission, your mission statement is a brief statement about what you want to achieve my vision statement by succeeding in my mission more people will know where the cycling trails are get out and enjoy them and be able to affect repairs and maintenance on their bikes so you know it's quite um, my mission statement it's a follow on from not my, my vision statement vision is, is a follow-on from a mission statement with more details in it saying basically what I want to achieve so you know in, in mine I want to you know encourage people to get out mountain biking um, so they and to do that they need to know where they can go mountain biking so that's part of it as well and also when you're mountain biking, you can you can have breakdowns, so you you need to be no, able to know how to fix those breakdowns, or else you end up walking and doing maintenance on your bike. So, what's your niche? Outdoor people that are no longer able to run or tramp due to bad joints, but they can still ride a bike. So. Um, you know, I've got a couple of brothers that, that can't run anymore. They enjoy mountain biking. It's a way of getting out and exercising. So that's that's 
who my target market is. What will I be selling? Well, I'm not uh, sure on that yet. Who is my target market? Your target market is, well, my target market is 35 to 60 year old male and female. What are they interested in? Outdoors, camping, tramping, cycling, and seeing different sceneries. So your target market, I mean, you need, with these, these questions, you need to get specific because the more specific you are, um, the easier it is to target. Um, you know, with your SFM business, you might say, yeah, well, you, you know, there's, there's, there's lots of people out there that um, are interested in, in buying the SFM product or changing their lives, but unless you get specific and you can actually target down to them, um, you're going to get better, and you're not going to get the results. You need to be specific and target your audience and when you are getting specific you you probably will get a flow on and get the other people um, the broader audience as well but you know you're going to be targeting on that one group and the more specific you are the better it is um, what problems do they ha um, does your product or service solve um, this I haven't actually answered this question, but uh, my website, the problem it's going to solve is it's going to show people where they can get out and where the tracks are that they can mountain bike on, um, the routes that they can take, and the equipment they need, and what they need to know to be able to repair their bikes. What makes me different from... Um, people that are doing similar, well I don't think there's too many doing what I'm doing, but um, what makes me different, I'm out there, I'm doing it, I'm getting out on the mountain bike, I'm, I'm going the places that I'm promoting, and I'm, I'm a nice helpful guy, and I'm a real person, so at the moment, um, paid, paid marketing strategies, um, for this business I haven't come up with that yet because my first step is to build the website, get it, start getting a following and then I'll look at monetizing. But you know when you look at um, paid marketing strategies you could be looking at Facebook, you could be looking at solo ads, PPC, article marketing, Google AdWords, Twitter, paid Twitter ads. But what you need to do is focus on one. Focus on one, master it before you move on and learn the next. So, in this, write down what um, what you're going to be um, focusing on. For my um, SFM business, I'll be looking at um, YouTube marketing and video marketing, which is you know YouTube video marketing, same th in, in the same thing. My budget for that is. What did I put down for that? Six hundred a month, which is twenty dollars a day. Um, free marketing strategies. This will be blogging, um, sharing on social media. That's interacting and doing some of the things that we've discussed on the uh, um, Thursday night calls that Sandra's always going on about and that is getting interacting in, in groups that are related to your um, your niche. How often are you going to be blogging? Um, you know, this is up to you, but, you know, Stuart says you should be blogging seven days a week. For some of us, that's just not practical. Um, you know, if you're, you're a stay-at-home mum with kids, or you've got a full-time job and you're working, uh, you just mightn't be able to do, be able to write a blog e every day of the week and, and publish it. Because I find when I'm writing blogs, it can take me three, four hours to do a blog and do get everything sorted, do the research, 
if I'm doing the research and, and picking up, grabbing photos and actually writing it, it can take longer than, longer than four or five hours. But, you know, writing was never one of my strong points, so um, that's... And, and I've got a full-time job with it. And I'm also running the... helping run the Down Under group, so yeah, seven days a week just doesn't work for me. I did a challenge with Stuart and did seven... Um, did seven day a week blogging and all I was doing was working and blogging and eating and sleeping so it's whatever suits you um, but you know if you say you're going to do twice a week and you do twice a week and stick to the same days if you're going to do three times a week do three times a week and sort out what days you're going to do but if you're going to do Seven days a week, do seven days a week. But remember, in this challenge, if you when you blog um, and post the blogs, you actually need to go in and share, I mean, like and comment on five other people's blogs as well. Where am I going to share my blogs? On Google+, on Facebook, and on Pinterest. And on Twitter. Offline marketing strategies for my cycling business. Well, because I'm getting out on tracks, so I can um, sometimes they have notice boards there. I can put flyers up on the notice boards to get people coming to my website. Um, how much am I going to pay for um, what's my marketing budget? Nothing at this stage. Because again, I'm still building and I'm still working through the process. Your business plan can be ongoing, but you need to make a start on it and get so you, you, you start to know where you're going to go. Goals for building and growing your, your business well, you need to break them down into small um, you know, you have a big goal where you want to be in. in five, ten years time, so we've got the five or ten year things in there, but you also need to have little goals in there as well where you can actually, um, so you know you, you, you're you getting achievements like for promoting uh, ECFM, you know, it might be getting ten leads a day in three months, um, after six months you say a, a thousand leads, um, after a year, you might be going for $10,000 a month, something like that. Um, for my cycling one, for my three months, I've got have my website up and running, as well as my Facebook page, Google Plus page, and YouTube, and um, Maps Tracked. In six months, figure out how I can monetize it, have ridden and mapped all the um, tracks in the Christchurch area, Invercargo area and the Queenstown area. So I'm going to be getting out and about in the next six months and I'm still working through um, my year, three years, five years and ten years goal. Then we move on a little bit further, we have Plan of action to achieve your goals. You've got um, your daily plan. This might be um, if you're doing seven days a week, well, you need to write a blog. Um, if you're doing three days a week, well, you're going to have to write a blog. You might have to do. You might do research one day, photos the next day, and and write the blog on the third day. Um, it's also um, your daily action plan. It might be posting um, new ads, checking your ad campaigns, etc. Um, your weekly plan. These are things you need to do on a weekly basis. Um, that might be attend a marketing call on SFM. It could also be um, 
getting in touch with other people, um, networking, whatever. But sit down, figure out what you need to do on a weekly basis, what you need to do on a daily basis, what you need to do on a monthly basis. This might be things like paying bills, um, getting through a specific course that you want to, to do. It might be Facebook marketing, it might be something else. It might be going into the um, Grovo training and, and completing one of those trainings. And then you've got your yearly plan, which is obviously uh, you're going to be needing to do your tax returns and stuff like that. Um, Analyse how you've gone in the past year, where you're going in the next year, revise your goals and that sort of thing. So that basically covers the business plan. Um, if you have any questions on it and you're not sure, feel free, free to drop me a line and contact me. Um, enjoy, take your time, go through it, do it properly, because this is the foundation for your business, so you need to do it properly. Because, you know, if you're going to build a skyscraper, you need to have good foundations. If you're going to build a successful online business, you need to have good foundations. Your business plan is one of those foundations. So take the time, do it properly. You know, you might be a little bit stumped. So take a few days, take a week to do it. But work on it, get it done. So that you know where you are, where you're going and what you've got to work with. Enjoy. This is Robbie. We'll see you in the next video.